Hello, I teach followers. Welcome to the channel. My name is Aiden. In today's video, I'm going to bring you a new course. And this course is all going to be Nutanix Community Edition. And this is a new hy hypervisor. It's not actually a new hypervisor, but it is one of the one of the best hypervisors you can get nowadays. And we're going to talk about it. Before I continue, I want to apologize. Lately, we haven't been able to upload video. We made so many content. The editing has been slower, uh, mainly because we don't have a lot of help. You know, this channel is extremely small. We don't have the budget to hire anyone. So the contents are coming, but they're slowly, you know, pending, if you will. And because a lot of it, we need to try to condense it, make it shorter for you. But if you wanted to help us out by subscribing, liking, that will help us out. So one day, maybe we can actually get a proper editor that can actually get this video going for us. But without further ado, let's talk about what we're here today. If you recall, I've been showing you on this channel, Hyper-V VMware Hypervisor. Well, in today's video, we're going to bring Nutanix Community Edition. This is free, absolutely free, 100% free. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's all about. So if you just go to Google and search for Nutanix Community Edition, you can see over here, this is the Nutanix Community Edition portal. And you can see I've been searching for it a lot because there is some nice, cool things out there you can get. And uh, this is just talking about Nutanix in general. But let me actually click on the actual Community Edition. So let's come over here. So this is what the Community Edition will give you. You get hands on, you have to, you know, get your, you know, put in your email and you can experience in the Nutanix infrastructure and prism introduce cutting edge technology into your environment at no cost to gain you know expertise to manage your infrastructure using your own hardware exchange ideas with peers gain insight with industry expert and contribute your expertise to a thriving global community it is a nice community i'm not gonna lie nutanix is very awesome in that for aspect of it and so in this channel i wanted to bring you something awesome and if you have a hardware supported, maybe enterprise hardware, maybe a nice lab built machine, you can take advantage of this nice capability. So that's what I want to do. So I already deployed Nutanix CE on my environment. If you want to see that, I'll, the video is coming, I promise you. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a tour of it. So let me go ahead and log in. The password is admin. And then if you don't change the password, it's going to be Nutanix for you slash for you but i'm just gonna go ahead and log in with my custom credential this is what you call prism prism is where nutanix allows you to manage your virtual machine your infrastructure the thing that makes nutanix so unique is that nutanix unlike other hypervisor will be able to leverage all your disk and condense them into one you don't need to have a storage you know cluster or storage ios or anything like that all of it can be configured into one type of node hyperconverged infrastructure and you'll be able to utilize it so in here you can see this is my cluster and this is not normal cluster i will be honest with you i'm actually using enterprise hardware but you can run this on an intel nuke or anything that's not really great like that but just know that the performance will be laggy but in this case you can see here i'm running community edition this is my cp utilization right now and that's my memory utilization so again and now this is my storage and i have this like physical like three ssds on this on this you know server and again this is my information how many number of vm i have i have four you know that's my four storage container disk i have three like i said storage pool i have one and services is just the services so this is the overview of the prism you know element in area and the prism element is nice it gives you a lot there is some limitations and we're going to go over it. But if you come over here and click the where it says drop down, this is my cluster name. And this is the CE homepage. If you click on that, it actually doesn't go anywhere. But if you click on the drop down where it says under admin, you can see where what kind of version you're running. So if I hit about Nutanix, I'm running Nutanix version 652 LTS, community, community license. That's what I'm running. And this is the LCC I'm running, and this is the LCM I'm running. So I'm running the latest as you can get. And if you come over here to the home area and hit the drop down, 
you get loads of options. You get your home, which gives you what we are seeing right now. You have your health, gives you everything that have to do with the health. If you click on it, for example, you'll see everything that's going on with your environment. Green means good. I hate to say it, but a lot of people sometimes may associate green with that. So if you see green in Nutanix, you are doing well. If you see orange, you have a warning you need to resolve. So if you click on my warning, you can see more about it. It just tells me that I have a warning and you can click more over, get more in depth into the detail of the warning. But that's basically the area. So you see if you have a disk issues, it will be red or, or yellow or orange rather. And so you want to solve the resolve that if you have issues like that. The biggest thing you want to look at is make sure your cluster services is running and your host is not red. So do justice for Nutanix. So the next thing you have is your VM tab. VM is all about virtual machine. Right now in this virtual machine, I'm running two servers or two cl one client and one server. One client is running Windows 10 uh, and then the, this is the server 2022. So this is where your virtual machine is and this one's this one is our Prism Central, which is another video. It deserves another video. And this one is our CVM. This is our CVM. This is how Nutanix actually manages the cluster. Without CVM, you cannot do anything with the Nutanix. And then over here, you get your VM, you know, IPs, your number of cores, memories. You know, again, my environment is enterprise level, so I get a lot of uh, memory resource is not a problem for me but in your environment you may not be able to assign all this course all this memory and then you have your storage you have your cpu utilization and you have your memory utilization and you have ihops and then network you know controller io io bandwidth and everything else so flash mode and everything else so it is amazing so now you notice that i have this box where it says show controller vms that's why you see all these things but if i uncheck this you won't see anymore let's move on to the next one which is going to be storage we talked about storage this is where my storage magic happens if there's issues with the storage you'll see that it says here storage container are mounted on the host for it tells you that and then this is how much data reduction savings eight just about over 182 megabytes and so overall you can see that it's really nice gives you layout you have your logical memory logical physical memory i mean like this is something that i don't think you can get it with any hypervisor any other hypervisor which is why i love nutanix and if you click on diagram it gives you a little bit diagram of what's going on so i have 1.17 terabytes physical free and then you can see things that could be in a recycle bin that i deleted already and then it got snapshot if I took any snapshot, snapshot is a great, the one of the reasons why I love Nutanix. And then you got all this data to get over. If you click on table, you'll see what's going on here. This is the storage I created. You know, this is the allocation, the space, everything else. So again, you got so much to do. And then you got your storage volume, storage pools. And I'm just using the default right now. So let's click on next. And then you got network. This is where all the magic of network happens. Not much going on over here. I just created a subnet. I was a VLAN zero, and that's how I'm connecting to it. Then you got your hardware. This is where a lot of things going on over here. Because if you look at here, you got your host IP. That's the actual host of the server. And then you have your CVM. That's where how you can actually manage the server or the cluster. And then you got your you know hypervisor type AHV. You can use this on a VMware in hypervisor. On top of it, you can use EXI, you know VMware ESXi, and you can use Hyper-V. You can use uh, Citrix Zen server. You can use uh, so many other, so, you know, hypervisors. So you're not limited to by HV. But HV, I like it. It seems like it's the best one for the buck. And again, here's the capacity. Here's my memory capacity, 250 gigabyte. I'm so excited. There's so much we can do about that memory. So much. And again, this is just one node. I have three nodes of this. So that means we'll, we'll be able to load content left and right. And then you got your disk. Obviously, this is the three disk I is showing right now. Some of them are SSDs. Some of them are not SSDs. And then you got your switch. If I had any, you'll see that. And then next thing you got your is your file server. If I have any, it will show up over here. I don't have any, so that's fine. Next, you have is data protection. Again, I don't have any data protection set up. If I had, it will show up there. And then analyst 
analyst analyst is like uh, analysis is like basically uh showing you if there's anything that you can analyze analyze like you can see here this is your audit log i changed i logged in this is where it tells you everything that's going on with your cluster the timeline so analysis is great alerts if there's any alerts that you need to get you'll see here i over time i had all these alerts some of them i resolved them some of them i did not and events you can see all the things that happen this is basically user logged in user logged out so this is your admin sensitive area where you look at what's going on with your cluster then you got your task things that i have done like uh, if i have upload an image it will show you if it's exceeded failed you see it again red means bad green means good i can't specify that enough and then you got your lcm this is how you manage updates with nutanix so overall awesome awesome hypervisor i mean i cannot say much about it i'm a huge nutanix fan i use this for my work and it's really great so next thing you got is on the after lcm is settings here is where you can configure everything the cluster detail this is the cluster name the virtual ip of the cluster you're configuring cvm that's the cvm we can change the memory from 20 gigabyte to 32 gigabyte to 64 gigabyte again 20 gigabyte is perfect for my environment if your environment is bigger you have a lot of resources available you can make it the minimum which is 32 gigabyte or 40 gigabyte or even more you can expand the cluster if you wanted to if you have the another cluster you want to add to this and just make it like a multi you know layer you know block with a, some, uh, a couple nodes and then you can do that image configuration this is where you upload your isos you know like you have your windows server windows 11 this is the nutanix driver if you will and then you have your reboots you know if you want to reboot the actual cvm you can do that and then remote support if you want to enable that you can do that software upgrade you can upgrade it directly from here uploading here or you can go to lcm lcm is the best way to do it life cycle management that's what it stands for and then you can connect to citrix cloud you can connect to prism central registration which i did and then you can do pulse over here you can do rack configuration i mean again amazing amazing cluster so that's what i'll leave you guys to it do you want to see more of nutanix if so subscribe to the channel because i'm here to show you a lot of nutanix I'm excited. I hope you are too, because this is going to be a lot of learning. And I had to, I have over, let's just say, three years of experience with Nutanix. Not saying I'm expert, but there's a lot to learn with Nutanix. And I think once you go with Nutanix, you can go back. That's the way I see it. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.